Hello, welcome to the show One on One. One on One is a show where we get to chit chat with your favorite Nollywood celebrities and ask them personal questions about their career and their role to stardom in Nollywood industry. Hope you stay tuned, don't touch that dial. We'll be right back with more in store for you. We have the very beautiful and talented Miss Meg Otanwa sitting right next to me and we're about to know more about herself and her career as an actress. Welcome ma'am. Thank you so much for having me. We love having you on our show. I see you on red carpet events and you look so stunning. Thank you. Let's talk about your career. What was the first ever movie you starred or played in? Okay, um, that would be... Um, I'll take my chances. Uh, produced by M.M. Isong and directed by Desmond Ennis. It also has um, Iniedo, uh, Brian Okwara, okay. uh, the late Sam Loco was in it as well. That okay. was my very first movie set. Did you know from the start when you were a little girl that you always wanted to be an actress, a superstar? <laughs> um, no, not really. Um, even up to the point where I graduated from the university, where I had my first degree, um, I didn't know that I could act for a living. I didn't know that was going to be my career. Um, I knew I loved to act. Um, I used to do a lot of um, plays in the church okay. and in school, but I didn't know for sure that I would go that path. Mm. You know, so I went on to further my education. I worked, did a lot, few things here and there, getting corporate. Um, um, experience, jobs, yeah. corporate jobs here and there, before I finally got up and I felt, this thing is not going away. Mm. I, I'm constantly thinking about this thing, I think I'm going to go for it. Because at, at back then, um, it wasn't exactly a noble profession. So as a young girl, you were not um, confident enough to say, I want to be an actress. Mm. You know, obviously we had people who had made it big, Genevieve, Omotola, they were respected actors, but still the industry as a whole, there was no structure per se. So even if you wanted to act, you didn't know how to go about it. Nobody understood how anything worked mm. at the time. Mm. Um, so it took me time to get to the point where I felt, okay, I can actually act mm. for a living mm. and that would be my career. Mm. You know, so I basically grew into that knowledge. Okay. Yeah. You talked about previously about you um, auditioning for shows. Do you audition for every show you get in movies or you get a call and say we want you to play this role? How does it come about? Oh, at the beginning I auditioned for everything. <laughs> everything. Open auditions, closed auditions. I started from you know oh, there wow. from the very beginning mm. going for open auditions. Mm. Um, but I'm grateful to God that I'm at a point where I get calls. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes I get a, I get calls from directors and I just get sent the scripts and you know I talk about the project mm -hmm. and I weigh my options if I want to be a part of it or not. Um, but you know, I still I also still want um, people to know that I still audition for jobs. All right, let's talk about the movie directors you've um, worked with. Who has been the favorite director you've worked with? Now she's trying to put me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would it be? It can be one. And, and, and I'm being honest about this. Because I've worked with really amazing and talented people. Number one would be Bibi Shashere. Okay. Um, Bordering Shashere. We call him Bibi Shashere. He's the director of 430. He is such an amazing director. And I think it's... Um, as an actor, it's my dream to work with an actor's director, a director who cares about the actor and not mm. just about how the shot looks, if they're getting this angle or that angle, about the actor. And mm. Bibi is that director mm. that would carry you through the journey of the character and make sure you are that character mm. and help you with choices. In as much as he will give you the liberty and the creative freedom to make choices, mm. he would want to understand and want you to understand the reason behind your choices. Yeah. I'm about to ask you your favorite actresses that you've worked with and actors you've worked with as well. Um, Belinda Effa. Okay. I've worked with um, 
Whoever works with my friends and sisters from before 30, obviously. Damilola, David, um, Beverly Naya, Annie, um, and then my senior colleagues, obviously, I mean, Jenny B. Rinaldi. I worked with her on her movie, Roti, yesterday, and she was such a good spot. And she was so, so funny. People have no idea how hilarious she is. She <laughs> really? is really, really funny. Really? So she, yeah, she makes it, you know, she's, she's warm, mm. you know, she's nice, friendly to be around. Yeah, so it made, she made it a lot very, because, I mean, she's Genevieve. Yeah. It's easy for young actors to get um, intimidated working with her. But when you meet her, she just makes you feel really comfortable. So it's easy for um, young actors to get intimidated when they work with senior colleagues. Mm -hmm. But Genevieve took her time to just make sure we we're all comfortable around her mm. um, before we got to work. So it was very easy, very chill, very laid back. Mm. I have so much respect for her. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, what do you feel lacks in the entertainment industry, Nollywood? What mm. improvements do you think there are to be made? Um, I personally think our number one challenge is um, funding. Um, the industry is still at that place where producers struggle to get movies to make them uh, to get money mm. to make movies, and this affects everybody on the chain, uh, from the actors to the crew members to you know. So the end users as mm. well because I mean when the director's pinching has a tiny budget most times it affects the output and the output is what the audience gets so I just I pray we get to the point where um, there's a good enough structure in place where the producers are able to get funds for their movies and then the industry can generally grow this growth would um, would you know cut across the different um, um, levels or the different fields in the industry that's from the actors to the crew members and to everybody um, yeah so our number one challenge uh, that would be funding have you ever experienced cyberbullying I'll, I'll give you two questions <laughs> and also what are your five-year goal plans hmm. okay um, cyberbullying oh yes Yes, I have. I've had um, a lot of funny comments. Um, to a large extent, I try not to read comments on blogs um, because you have good ones. You also have that person who woke up on the wrong side of his bed and um, decided to take it out on you on, on, on the blogs. Um, so I, I stay away from any negative thing that might weigh me down or just change my mood mm -hmm. or ruin my mood. Um, then for the other question your five-year goal my plan five, my goal plan yeah i i'm still um building a career i intend to work really hard up to the point where i no longer have to introduce myself and hopefully use that um to help people because i believe we're all here for a higher purpose um i don't think i'm here on earth just for myself. I think I'm God put us on earth to to do to, to make an impact, a positive impact. And I hope that when that time comes in my career where I have a big enough name um, to make things happen, I would be able to make a positive impact to in the world around me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a yeah. good answer, smart answer. <laughs> and we pray you have all your heart desires and Thank wish you, you a blissful career but it's time to say our goodbyes on the show it was wonderful chatting with you and thanks for being here today thank you thanks for having me <laughs> all right and that's it folks on this episode of one on one i hope you had a wonderful time hanging out with me and the beautiful meg otawa but to keep up with us on our social media pages you can check us out on our website you can check us out on youtube on facebook on twitter and on instagram all the links scrolling right through your tv screens if you have more information and inquiry, please hit us up. We'll be sure to respond. But in the meantime, you keep watching Tribe. My name is Asari Duke.